Assumptions about the future, even scientifically grounded ones, often seem like fantasy. But, as experience shows, it doesn't take long before much of the science fiction becomes reality. Just consider, for example, Jules Verne's predictions in 1865 about space travel and landing on the moon. But can we already predict what will happen to us in a thousand years? Will we migrate to other planets or perish by our own hands? Hello dear friends, in today's video, we would like to reflect on how humanity and our planet will change in the next thousand years. But before we delve into this topic, we'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new intriguing videos about the mysteries of the universe. Let's start with Earth. Major changes on the planet take millions of years. A thousand years is not much in the universe's timeline. During this period, scientists predict further reduction in biodiversity due to human impact. In the next 100 years, about 30% of species will disappear, with the most adaptable species, weeds and pests, becoming the most widespread. The current interglacial period, in which Earth is now, was supposed to end in approximately 25,000 years. But due to the carbon dioxide emitted into the atmosphere, the next glacial period will occur 50 to 100,000 years later. However, according to scientists' assumptions, fossil fuels may run out in as little as 150 200 years, reducing the greenhouse effect and accelerating glaciation. If this happens, as noted by a group of scientists led by Anne-Sophie Kocholin, Everything could end tragically for humanity within the next thousand years during glaciation, unless, of course, we migrate to another planet. On the other hand, if global warming continues at the same pace, all glaciers on Earth will melt within 800 to 1,000 years. By 2100 year, 68% of all glaciers will turn into water, and the sea level will rise by 4.5 inches. If all glaciers melt, the face of the Earth will change significantly, as all coastal cities and states like Denmark, Belgium, the Netherlands, and others will be underwater. This will alter many ecosystems, leading to irreversible consequences for humanity. However, naturally, there's the possibility that Earth will be destroyed by a collision with another celestial body, or as a result of an apocalypse caused by humanity. In that case, worrying about glacier melting won't matter. With Earth covered, what about humans in a thousand years? How will we change? Today, changes are occurring due to the scientific and technological progress we've initiated. Modern humans mostly lag behind our ancestors in physical strength and endurance because technology has taken over most of the heavy work. However, one thing modern humans undoubtedly excel at compared to our ancestors is height. Over the past two centuries, people have become on average four inches taller, and it's quite likely that in just 100 years, 6.7 feet will be the average height. In the more distant future, many scientists and futurists predict more significant changes in human appearance. By the end of the third millennium, as geneticists note, Slavic appearance, which means light hair and blue eyes, will be overcome by the mongoloid appearance. People will become darker skinned, with dark hair and a specific eye shape. Already in our time, a quarter of the population belongs to the Mongoloid race and the birth rate of the European race is steadily declining. In addition to this, anthropologists believe that humans will have larger brain mass, leading to an increase in head size. Neurobiologists and psychologists are confident that the human brain will continue to evolve and in a thousand years, the average citizen's level of intelligence will be comparable to today's genius. We will easily cope with advanced mathematics, thanks in part to computer brain function enhancers. The level of computerization and technology mastery will reach its peak. However, there are warnings about this. If virtual reality becomes the predominant part of human life, we may experience schizophrenia attack. Such confusion could lead to severe social consequences. However, it is comforting that futurists believe that in 1,000 years, humans will possess high moral qualities that have been refined over centuries. People will become responsible individuals with a physiological inability to cause pain and suffering to others. One of the most remarkable differences between us and our ancestors is longevity. 
Good nutrition and advances in medicine allow people in the 21st century to live to a previously unreachable age. Already today, physical and mental health can be extended with human spare parts. Scientists at Tel Aviv University have already been able to print a real heart on a 3D printer. If in our day and age there's no major problem in recreating some human tissues and organs using high technology, the day when humans will be transplanted with artificially grown organs, just like changing parts in a car, is not far off. In addition to this, the development of artificial intelligence, which will link the human brain with computers, will help achieve electronic immortality. We've understood how humans and Earth will look in the future, and it's becoming clear that there's a very high probability of our civilization relocating. Global catastrophe, overpopulation, or resource scarcity, any of these could be reasons for such a radical step. Many believe that, thanks to private space companies like SpaceX, humans will be on Mars in the coming decades. It's interesting that tenders have already begun for the design of settlements on the Red Planet, Elon Musk has already developed a project for space transport to deliver people to Mars, with the goal of establishing a colony there. According to him, such an alternative will safeguard humanity from many risks. In a thousand years, surely Mars won't be the only place of interest for humans as a new place of residence. Scientists are finding more and more potentially habitable planets, one or several of which could become our home. In addition to this, it's possible that humanity will live on large space stations, such as O'Neill cylinders. We talked about them in one of our previous videos, which you can watch by clicking on the hint in the upper right corner. There are many forecasts and versions of the future of humanity and the planet. Some are optimistic, while others have less favorable outcomes. Not all of them will be justified and come true, as humanity is capable of influencing many things already now. However, only time will show what will actually happen to our civilization. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our new intriguing videos about the mysteries of space and our planet. Write in the comments what you would like to learn about in the next video. Thank you and see you next time.